Hi, everyone. This is Alp Akinis here with the Actiris team. Today, we have another exciting use case for you around the sales and operations planning, specifically around demand planning and identifying which product categories have negative inventory balances. And once identified using Actiris, we can quickly resolve these by writing back values to get to the appropriate inventory levels to resolve our negative ending inventory balances. Now, prior to getting into the actual demo, let's talk about a typical challenge that managers and demand planners face when going through a demand plan process. When going through a demand plan process, what typically becomes very tough to identify, especially when you have quite a number of products and product categories, is which ones have very high demand, but not enough inventory levels to meet that demand. With Actiris and Power BI, we're able to quickly resolve this issue, identify the challenge, and then make appropriate changes in order to ensure that there are inventory levels that are met with the appropriate supply of replenishment. So looking at our use case right here, we can go ahead and see that for our product category down here, we see that it's flashing red indicating that there is a negative ending inventory balance. And what we can do here is we can actually hover over our button right here to see that there is a particular product within the week of January 29th for the region USA that has a negative ending inventory balance. Now that we have that product identified, what we can go ahead and do is using the region filter, we can filter to the region USA, which is having the negative ending inventory balance issue. After switching our region to USA, we can click on the individual product view and going to our product selection, we can go ahead and search for the ThinkPad T14 product that's having a negative ending inventory balance. Clicking on that, we can see here that our negative ending inventory balance is starting within January. And this is due to very high demand for 20,000 units being recorded within the week of January 29th. However, due to that high demand, we need to make sure we have the appropriate replenish product to meet that demand. We can see in the top right corner here how much product we are required in order to be able to meet this demand, which is roughly about 9,000 units. So what we can do here is knowing that we're going to need 9,000 units to satisfy the rest of the demand for the year, we can use the edit feature of our Actiris matrix visual, click on the particular supply replenishment line we would like to add the supply to. And what we can go ahead and do is type in that we're going to require 9,000 units, save that change. And quickly see that we have now the additional product added. Now, what we also have the ability to do is we also have the ability to be able to multi-select if we wanted to supply multiple weeks. So if I click on these three lines right here, I see that I require a bit more product to meet this demand. So I can go ahead and using the multi-select option, type in that we're going to need roughly 500 more units in each of these lines right here. After doing so, we can see that our negative alert has gone away and we are now at a positive ending inventory for the year based on the demand required. Heading back to our top down view, we can now see that our product category that was flashing red is no longer flashing red, meaning that we have no ending inventory balances that are in the negative. And just like that, within a few clicks, we were able to quickly resolve this issue utilizing the great features of Actiris. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. And this is Al Backlings with Actiris signing out.